We are two guys gaming. Sean, noob of all trades from Two Guys Gaming. In this video series, we are playing the daily RPG calendar, The Void Spark Chronicles by Sundial Games, that I bought for myself last year for Christmas. Today is not Friday, March 3rd, or Fruits Day Cosmica 3. I don't think I've discussed it on this series. I've discussed it on the podcast that I'm doing, Noob's Book Club. But Fridays are pretty busy around here, and this past Friday was no different. And then on Saturday, yesterday, we had a swim meet almost all day. So I'm a little bit behind. I have to put Thursday up, and then I have to put this video up with Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So on Friday, it says the Fang, the modular front portion of the Karnak, disengages from the main vessel. Built to be agile. It acts as a scout ship with adequate combat capabilities. While the rest of the ship and team stay behind, you set off to find the pilot's family. After a short while, you discover a large cave entrance that appears unnatural among the landscape of the planet Athelia. Uh-oh. We overshot. So we're going to find out what do we know about caves, roll d20, plus intellect, reminder student, and then I'm going to try to sneak into the cave hideout, roll d20, plus dex, reminder stealthy. Okay. What do you know about caves and bunkers? Roll d20, plus intellect. My intellect is zero, so we get no bonus here because I am not a student. And <laughs> God, fuck the stupid dice. The result is seven or less. It is very much seven or less. Something about this cave doesn't appear natural. You just can't pinpoint your concern. Could be home to a species of animal that are, that are natural to the planet. It is best to proceed with caution. Sneak into the cave, hide out, roll d20 plus dex, reminder stealthy. My dex is plus two at least. I am not stealthy. Let's go for a good roll here. Nine plus two is 11. If the result is between eight and 14, you try to keep as quiet and stealthy as possible, but you stumble into a patrolling guard. They look like no alien species you have ever seen before. The guard immediately attacks. Its range of movements are primal and unnerving. Roll d20 plus attack. Then roll damage. Twelve plus my attack is four. Okay. If your attack roll is fourteen or more, you hit the stitcher. If it is less, you missed. If you hit your damage roll is five or more, the stitcher dies. And we get one more credit for destroying that stitcher. So we started off with a low roll, but the roll that mattered, the attack roll, and the damage roll, those both came out great. I wonder if I should do this one as its own video, because it's one of these ones where you have to explore a bunch of different rooms, so it might take a little bit more time. I think that's what I'll do. As always, thanks for watching. You can find us, if you haven't already, at www.twoguysgaming.net. There's articles, podcast. The podcast is Noob's Book Club. I think I mentioned it earlier. I'm reading and reacting to Dragons of Deceit by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. I will see you again in a couple of minutes for the Saturday-Sunday video, and then I will see you tomorrow again for Monday.
See you then. Bye, guys. We are to die.